it's quite simple. Press the free like button. If you was going to watch WrestleMania 40 without The Rock being there in the first place, press the free like button then because the average fan was going to watch WrestleMania 40 without The Rock being there in general. WrestleMania sells itself. It's going to sell out regardless based on the brand, which is WrestleMania. Nobody's bigger than WrestleMania. The average fan was going to watch th that show regardless. So there's people that are trying to say that Rocky Maivia is some kind of draw. That, oh man, he is so needed for this WrestleMania. He's a big draw. He is going to draw money. Okay, what money, dummy? If WrestleMania 40, it's already sold out without him being on the card. So how is he a draw? How is he needed? If the show is already sold out, that's not how that works. That's like saying that, I don't know, let's use example. Let's say Drake does a show with 50 cents, but he wasn't advertised on that show, but the show still sold out, even though the concert is about 50 cent. Does that mean Drake is a draw? If the show is sold out, even though he was not advertised to be on the show, right? You can't take credit for that shit. The Rock ain't no draw when it comes to that. Yeah, he might be a draw in general, but he's not a big draw for this show because this show is already sold out. But I'm going to dive more into that later on. Now, somebody brought me this shit, right? Somebody brought this to my attention. Um, These, I think they're called TWRP. Look, these TWRP faggots, right? These two faggots, these two weirdos. These two nut-hugging fucking beavers and butthead cosplayers because that's what I call them. These two dorks, these two faggots are Beavis and Butthead cosplayers. Listen, I don't like these two clowns. Listen, there's a reason why you guys have a dead channel. It's dead. Nobody cares about you. And it's like, you guys got into a beef with Wrestling Otaku. And you two dorks, you lost that feud. Imagine losing a beef to Wrestling Otaku and being afraid of him. Oh yeah, listen. Here's why they have a dead channel. These guys are fucking dumbasses. That's all they do is post top 10 sucks videos. I'm like, bro, what makes you think YouTube and the damn algorithm is going to push hateful content like that? This is why nobody takes you seriously as wrestling commentators. Nobody gives a fuck about top 10 sucks videos. Those are fucking stupid. It takes no talent. Anybody can do that. Top 10 sucks, Cody Rose. Top 10 sucks, The Rock. These two clowns made a top 10 sucks about The Rock. These two clowns made top 10 sucks about Stone Cold Steve Austin. Let me repeat. These two clowns made a top 10 sucks on Stone Cold Steve Austin. Ever since they did that, I said, fuck these two little faggots. Fuck these two Beavis and Butthead clowns. The fact that these two idiots called The Rock a pedophile from a fucking interview with a kid. And now they want to turn around and say The Rock is best for business for WrestleMania. It's like, wow, you hate Cody Rose that much to a point where you forgot that you called Rocky Maivia a pedophile. But now you want his dick right now. You want his bandwagon just to spite Cody Rhodes. I was like, this is what I hate. These two little faggots guts. I hate them. It's crazy how ever since my fast quick rise talking about quick fake pro wrestling, all these shit channels out of nowhere are trying to target me. Well, that just proves that. I'm more famous than you on YouTube when it comes to talking about fake pro wrestling. Dude, this PW Hustle faggot, it's like he is so obsessed. I'm like, look here, nigga. T leave me alone, you T-Pain looking wannabe. I'm like, bruh, you still look like a poor man's T-Pain. Leave me alone. Like, imagine you got 18,000 subs and yet I get more views than you. People care about what I have to say more than you. Leave me alone, man. Oh my fucking God. Like, this fat so weirdo, this dude wants to fuck me. Like, it's obvious. This dude wants to fuck me. I th bro, you are gay. Bro, leave me alone, bro. I'm not the only nigga talking about fake pro wrestling. And the fact that you are black, you are black. And you target another black wrestling commentator. Look here, man. It's like, this dude is a Sambo coon. The fact that I'm a black wrestling commentator. You are black. But I'm the main guy you want to take down and target. Bro, you are a coon. You are Sambo. Bro, there's not that many black men talking about fake pro wrestling that are as big as me. Let's just be real. Let's just talk facts. Just Alex, I get bigger numbers than just Alex. So I think I'm the best at talking about fake pro wrestling because there's no other black wrestling commentators that are bigger than me on YouTube. That's facts. But you are jealous. I'm like, bro, TWRP jealous. Everybody is jealous of me. 
step her game up, and yet maybe people will watch. It's like this dude was still making videos about me. But I don't get it. Imagine, I never said not one word about this little weird looking faggot T-Pain knockoff. Leave me alone, bro. I don't care about you. Stop using my name for views. You got 18,000 subs. Where are they at? Every time he talks about fake pro wrestling, his videos get maybe 20 views, 50 views, 80 views. Bruh, that's a sign. Stop what you're doing. It's like nobody cares about you. You're trying to use my name for clout? Listen, I'm going to say your name. PW No Hustle. PW Zero Hustle. <laughs> All right. PW Zero Hustle. No loyalty, no respect. <laughs> that's what you are. Bro, stop being jealous. If I saw you in person, my God. Do not cut California. That's all I'm saying. But, dude, I don't get you. If I sucked at what I do, right? Let's say I was bad. Let's say this was a shit channel. Okay. Nobody makes videos about other content creators if they sucked at their job. Why? By that logic, why talk about them? If they suck, nobody will watch. Imagine. I got over 6,000 subs. I'm, I'm about to crack 7,000 soon. 7,000? That's coming soon. And yet, you are jealous of me? Like, wow. Imagine, I got 6,000 subs, and yet, I'm bigger than you. You will never get to my level. Make, make that make sense. Imagine having 18,000 dead fake subs that you paid for. Bro, your, your subs are fake. You paid for them. I got sources, bro. You, you paid for your subs. There's no Your numbers don't add up. You can't have 18,000 subs and you can barely crack a thousand views. So it don't add up. Stop lying to the people. Nobody watches your videos. Mama fucking God, why are you so obsessed? I'm not the only guy who talks about fake pro wrestling. Why me? Why? I'm handsome, I'm buff, I'm slow, I'm jacked. Like why? Like I'm not the only nigga talking about fake pro wrestling. So, I don't get why are you so obsessed with me? Is it my good looks? Like why, bro? I, I don't. This has been going on for two years, man. Two years, and you still make content about me name dropping me, man. This is a weird, sick obsession. You ain't better than me. You will never be better than me. Never. So I'm like, get over it. See, now you are trying to target that little dwarf from New York. Weird pattern of behavior. You target people who got bigger names than you, who are more important than you. And you've been on YouTube longer than me. So who's jealous here? Why would I be jealous of somebody that has been on YouTube longer than me? It's wild that every fake pro wrestler that YouTube clowns love, Beavis and Butthead, you think, oh, Triple H, he don't like them because he's a mark. He should push these guys. I'm like, bro, you guys don't know anything about fake pro wrestling. Karen Cross sucks, okay? Karen Cross, fucking, he's fucking trash. Everybody that, that you hate, are some of the biggest stars in the business. So just stop watching, right? It's like, you two clowns are so obsessed over Cody Rose even more than me. It's like, bro, I ain't tone deaf. The most over guy right now is Cody fucking Rhodes. But I don't go overboard, man. It's like, yes, there's certain guys that I don't like, but oh my God, man, you guys are fucking repetitive with your Cody Rose hate. You are fucking repetitive with your Triple H hate. You are repetitive with your Rhea Ripley hate. You guys have a shit format. Same thing every week. Hate everything. But you two clowns are so great. You two faggots are so great, right? Um, no. You guys have no talent. You guys have fucking monotone voices. You guys are fucking trash. No charisma, no character, no nothing. The only two idiots who watch you, only, only clowns that watch you, are just these virgin, anti-virgin neckbeards. It's like, you guys are just Howard Stern wannabes. Nobody cares about any of your content. You guys repeat yourselves. Oh, yes. Let's do the CM Junk voice. Let's do the Cody Rose voice. Every fucking week, though? That's all you do is do imitations of people that you don't like. That is what your content is about. You guys have no analysis about anything when it comes to fake pro wrestling. You guys don't know anything. You don't know what a fucking draw is. You don't know anything about this sport. All you do is hate everything. You don't like anything, but you try to act like you are not a fan of fake pro wrestling. But why do you come on here hours and hours and hours, man? You guys talk about this more than me, hours and hours and hours every week, but you, but you hate it. Please, make that make sense. But your dead channel has been around since 2008. Bruh, fun fact. I was not on social media in 2008, okay? I had nothing. I was playing pro basketball at that time. But let's see, 2008, 
and you guys only have over 500,000 views total on your page. Okay, let's compare that to me. I've been here two, two fucking years, right? And I have over 4 million views and you hate that. That's why you're jealous. But don't get it twisted. I was never a fan. I was not a fan who turned YouTuber. I was never that big of a fan of you clowns because you are not of my taste. But the fact that you two guys, you two fucking beta males, are scared of wrestling otaku to a point where you had to delete your videos over him? So he is your Tupac. <laughs> That's crazy. These two clowns said Chris Benoit is awesome. And they think he didn't do it. That's how low of scumbags you are. Once you said that about that man, about a fucking murderer who killed his wife and his family, that's when your page started to go down. And I said, nah, man, fuck these two faggots. So let's talk about all of a sudden your love for Rocky Maivia. Okay, this is the same guy that you two clowns called a pedophile. This is the same guy that you guys have been making fun of for the past two years, but you want to turn around and say, oh, this is best for business. Um, Rocky, main event WrestleMania, he's a big time draw. He is so great. He is so this and that. That's what I mean. You guys are walking contradictions. Nobody takes you fucking seriously. Once again, your dead channel fucking sucks. And this is why. How about Brit Baker? You two clowns made a video about Brit Baker saying top 10 awesome. But years later, turn around and say she is a whore. She fucks the locker room. I was like, bro, man, that is so fucking disrespectful. This is why nobody takes you clowns seriously. Even that little dwarf from New York don't take you two clowns seriously. And listen, I was never a part of your community. It's toxic. I don't associate with toxic people. You guys have a toxic channel, toxic fan base. Um, the fact that people try to come at me just because I respect Cody Rhodes, the biggest star in the business, I might add, why? It's like, I don't know why you anti-Smarks hate Cody Rose. It's weird to me. It's strange. Listen, you guys have been on YouTube since 2008. But you guys have been talking about wrestling for maybe for the past six years. And you only got 6,000 subs at this point. I think seven, eight years. I'm like, wow, man. That's all. And you only got 500,000 views. It's weird how during my first year on YouTube talking about fake pro wrestling, these two clowns were fans of mine, right? Then once I got more popular, once my name got more out there, once I started getting more views, that's when the jealousy kicked in with, with Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> like, wow, man. See, this is why I'm not friends with nobody on YouTube because I don't trust nobody. These two clowns are prime examples. Once you get more popular than them, they will turn on you. That's what this is all about. All of a sudden, you want to take a shot at me? Like, why? Bro, I don't talk about you two clowns. I don't talk about people who are fucking second tier YouTubers. Like, bro, you guys are not on my level. Nobody cares about what you have to say about fake pro wrestling. That's why people watch me. Look at my numbers. My numbers are better than you. And I haven't been here a long time, maybe two years, going on three years now. And I leaped frogs you in the algorithm, but you hate it. You are jealous. That's why you no longer promote me. Because you don't want me to get any bigger. Because you are jealous. Imagine being a fan of mine in year one. Two years later, you are taking shots at me just because I like a fake pro wrestler that you guys hate. That's childish. And this is why you guys have a dead channel. The fact that you've been on here for the past six, eight years, but you don't want to show your face, but you got the biggest mouths. I hate that, right? I hate cowards. Cowards that they got the biggest mouths on YouTube, but they hide their face. They want to talk about, oh, she's a fat ass. Oh, she's this. She's that. He's ugly. She's ugly. But what do you look like? Let's put that to the test, right? What do you two clowns look like? What do Beavis and Butthead of wrestling, what do you two clowns look like? Sugar face. Hashtag. Sugar face. That's all. Don't throw stones from a glass house. I want to know what you two clowns look like. And listen. I would say two years ago, these two clowns wanted to do a podcast with me. They wanted to give me an interview. I said, hell no. <laughs> I said, no. Two years later, I don't want nothing to do with y'all. I swear to God, I got, listen, I got the text to prove it on IG. This dude was in my IG saying, hey, I want to give you an interview. I said, no, 
I don't do interviews, bro. I was like, nah, bro, nah. I said, no, because I don't want your audience to be mixed in with, with my audience. I don't have a toxic audience. It's like these two guys are the biggest cappers on YouTube. All y'all do is lie in your videos by saying, oh, nose meant this, nose meant that. It's so repetitive. You guys make fun of the same people every week. It's Dean Ambrose, Cody, Rhea, Triple H, and what else? Fucking Tony Khan, man. Same people every fucking week. That's crazy. And it's like, you wonder why you ain't growing. Your content is about hating Triple H, hating Cody Rhodes, always saying, oh, how about the ratings? Low ratings, this or that, low ratings. I'm like, bro, why would you make fun of the ratings for NXT when it's a minor league show? It's a farm system. Whatever they get, it's a fucking win. These are rookies. Why would you make fun of the ratings for NXT when, when it's a minor league show? That's why you guys know nothing about this fake business. Like, I don't get it. All you do is talk about ratings this, ratings that. Your show consists of making fun of people, hating people, making fun of gay people, and imitating voices. That's all you do, bro. It's repetitive. That's all you do. Imitate voices. Imitate voices. Imitate voices. Let's imitate just Alex. Let's imitate JD. Let's imitate Cody Rhodes. Let's imitate Nose Man. It's the same shit. That's why nobody watches. The only time people watch is when there's a hot story. That don't match me. People watch me regardless. It don't matter if it's a slow news day or not. People watch me regardless. People don't watch you. People watch to make fun of you. People watch so they can see you hate people. It's wild because listen, I'm not trying to defend that little dwarf from New York, but there was a live stream that I heard from Beavis and Bud here, right? Where they was trying to make fun of him being Catman. But then I heard cats in their background. Please people, make it make sense. <laughs> How you gonna make fun of that little dwarf from New York for being a cat man when you yourself is a cat's owner? I'm like what? Are you, are you fucking stupid? These guys need mental help. These guys need a mental evaluation because I literally heard cats meowing in their background, talking casually about fake pro wrestling. I'm like, hold on. So you guys are cat men, but you are trying to make fun of other people for loving cats, even though you guys are cat lovers too. Like what? Oh, wow, bro. All you guys do is spread false information and try to prove it like a fact. Just because it's your word, these are the same guys that accused Stephanie McMahon of cheating on Triple H with no facts, no evidence, no proof. I don't dive into people's personal lives in that matter. But these two evil clowns do. It's like these two idiots said that Britt Baker cheats on Adam Coleslaw. I'm like, bro, I don't like Adam Coleslaw as a fake pro wrestler, but I would never dig deep into his marriage or his personal life. That's not my business. Why are you trying to accuse his wife of cheating on him with other fake wrestlers? <laughs> I'm like, wow, man. Like, this is why people don't watch you guys. And listen, these two guys are just weirdos, right? In terms of, they said that Randy Orton gets ring boners. I'm like, bro, why are you looking at another man's dick? Why are you looking at other men's dicks in the fucking ring? Like I said, you guys are just as bad as the same fans you make fun of. In fact, I say, you make fun of yourselves by that same logic. You said that Drew Mack gets ring boners. Okay, why are you staring at that man's junk as he's wrestling? Why is that in your mind? Why is that in your head? Like, these guys might be closet homosexuals. That's my opinion. Or by because these two guys are fucking strange individuals to even look at another man's area as he's wrestling. Why is that your concern? <laughs> I'm saying... These guys, they snitch on themselves every fucking week. It's the same repetitive content. That's why a lot of people stop watching to watch me. Let me repeat that once again. People stop watching them so they can watch me because I'm the best at what I do. I don't hate just the hate. I give you logic, I give, I give facts and evidence. These two guys are just fucking clout chasers, man. Every week making fun of Cody Rose for no reason, like why? Imagine hating a fake pro wrestler as much as them, but they want to call other fans marks. Bro, you guys dedicate videos for two, three hours to Cody Rose. 
calling him Daffy Duck and this, that, Homelander, this, that. I'm like, wow, you guys need serious mental help. It's weird. Every wrestler that they like, they are jobbers. Oh, but they want to make fun of Tony Khan man and uh, Triple H by not seeing talent. I'm like, bro, no. Everybody that you like just sucks. <laughs> so that is a reflection on you. Like, for example, these two clowns thought Rick Boogs was going to be some kind of megastar. And he turned out to be a fucking jobber and his ass got released. So I'm saying, how come all the people that you like, they get released or cut or they become jobbers? So that is a reflection on you. In fact, man, I actually wish Wrestling Otaku would have taken your channel down because he could have. But you guys are little pussies. Wow, imagine being scared of Wrestling Otaku. Man, I was actually hoping and praying that he would take down your shit worthless channel. But I'm, 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 I'm done.